Hello everybody, my name is Covadonga Lorenzo. I'm a doctor in architecture and faculty member at CU University, where I teach at the Department of Architecture and Design and also direct the Digital Fabrication Laboratory of the University, the Fab Lab. My presentation for you today is entitled Connecting People to Nature in Cities Toward an Inclusive and Sustainable Urban Environment. Given the increase of inhabitants in urban settlements caused by the consolidation of globalized models of progress, cities, which in the case of Spain host more than 75% of the population, must ensure better places for citizens. To be aligned with the objective number 11 of the ESD 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals, make cities and urban settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable, the presentation shows some innovative solutions for accessible public space, sewing products and architectural projects that fully comply with variables of sustainable success, such as cities conceptually biohealthy, economically affordable, energy self-sufficient, technologically active, environmentally inclusive without a trace, constructively standardized, lightweight, functionally reversible, dimensionally compatible, typologically original, and recyclable. All these ideas are considered as design-optimized strategies that help reintegrate nature in cities, transforming urban spaces into livable, productive, and biodiverse systems. In this sense, Looking for restoring the ecological balance of the city, new modes of collaborative design based on nature that result in more environmentally sustainable projects are essential. It is known to all that the design of cities nowadays is limiting the amount of ecosystem services they provide. The construction of buildings and streets removes vegetation and soil and replaces it with impermeable surfaces. This change in land use reduces water infiltration into the soil and increases runoff. It also reduces the evaporative transpiration affecting climate comfort in the city. The lack of vegetation and soil limits the availability of habitats for urban biodiversity. Urban environments are hostile to most species and can host alien and invasive species more easily, displacing local biodiversity. This loss of biodiversity brings direct problems on human health. Besides, human beings are the dominant species in the city and that leave us more exposed to pandemic and diseases. As a consequence of all this, air quality is infinitely worse in cities and nowadays urban environments are considered one of the main drivers of climate change. It seems clear that our cities must change. A transition towards a more sustainable urban environment should be promoted through new modes of collaborative design that connect people to nature and result in more environmentally sustainable projects. In this line of work, to explore solutions and proposals promoting innovation in the urban environment, a series of projects developed during a collaborative design workshop will be shown in this presentation. Collaborative design was essential. The initial studies based on questionnaires, empathy maps, brainstorming diagrams, and open data visualizations were carried out involving citizens, including those most disadvantaged, such as the elderly or people with functional diversity. Co-design with end users allow the students to explore the interaction of different types of users with urban facilities, to find out new ways of offering information, adding comfortable and accessible urban furniture for all citizens, or ways of providing easily readable information for people with some types of visual or hearing impairment. After the studies, there were the findings. People claim the existence of multiple architectural barriers, obstacles on the sidewalks, lack of ramps for users with wheelchairs, discontinuities in the pavement, insufficient information for people with special abilities. Also, 
the lack of green urban spaces that provide more welcoming places to enjoy in the city, better relations between different modes of transport, alternative for entertainment for users, a dependence on the internet or apps to get information and finally, the need to make urban furniture more sustainable, integrated with the natural environment and accessible for all citizens. Also, they detect a feeling of insecurity caused by the lack of accessible information for visually and hearing impaired people, which prevents them from enjoying urban services with autonomy. Other challenges detected were, for example, the lack of comfort in urban services and also the emission they produce. So it is clear that there is a need to design safe pedestrian routes, remove architectural barriers, use rough pavements to create guided tours for visually impaired, promoting the autonomous mobility of all people in the city. Besides, the proposals studied new ways of offering a more sustainable urban mobility based on the design of transport nodes that facilitate the connection between public transport stops, metro and bus, and like means of transport as bicycles and scooters. The aim was to promote the use of non-polluting alternative transport that would complete the route to be taken by citizens during the daily activities, discouraging car use and creating green areas in the city linked to these nodes to renaturalize the urban environment, improving the mobility experience and the living conditions of citizens. To solve these challenges, a student proposed the use of permeable pavements that contribute to the improvement of surface runoff by improving urban drainage, especially in pedestrian streets, squares, and even bicycle lanes. Green sustainable furniture was also designed to contribute to the adaptation of cities to climate change by improving the energy efficiency of the neighborhood. In this sense, the use of biomaterials in canopies and benches, as well as the placement of flower pots and planters, improves the urban environment and also are especially appreciated by people with functional diversity, as they generate more welcoming, more legible and recognizable spaces in the city. Besides, urban services were designed using natural materials, such as wood, and enclosure covered with vegetation to improve their energy performance and provide natural cooling in summer and heat loss in winter. That guarantees energy saving and an improvement in the air quality of the urban environment, being at the same time attractive elements for the enjoyment of citizens. The integration of vegetation absorbs also CO2, mitigates the urban heat island effect acts as an acoustic barrier and favors the naturalization of spaces, promoting their use and enjoyment by citizens. Students also opt for simple and inclusive designs so that citizens collaborate in the assembly or allowing users to modify the urban elements according to their needs, thanks to the design of modular assembly system made with easily recyclable and reusable elements. The presentation has some proposals that can inspire and enhance innovation to connect people to nature in cities to move towards an inclusive and sustainable city for all. Environmental sustainability is a premise in all the proposals, thanks to the use of sustainable and recyclable materials seeking to extend their life cycle. The use of permeable pavements to design safe routes for all people the inclusion of green urban furniture that improve air quality and the use of strategies that limit CO2 emissions and favor a responsible use of resources. The aim has been to reflect on the current guidelines of urban design, promoting innovation, favor of healthier, safer, and more sustainable urban environments. Thank you very much.